a lot of people ask me and and ask machinery builders in general what is the the proper tension that I should be running on my web and really machines are designed to run within a specific tension range um, and a lot of times the proper tension for your web to run it properly through your machine can really be determined through trial and error past experience but there's a there are some ways to get a good general idea of how much tension you want to run on your material uh, Tappy uh, publishes uh, papers that have estimated tension levels for for different materials and laminates um, there's other industry resources the internet there's uh, uh, lots of places on the internet you can go to look at estimated tensions for certain types of materials again let's say you're running a half mil polyethylene film or one mil polyethylene film it's low density if you know that you can go out and you get a general feel for how much tension the tension range you should be running on that material um, another general rule of thumb is a lot of people know the tensile strength of their material but they don't know what the tension is and a lot of times uh, proper unwinding and rewinding tension is is between 10 to 25 percent of tensile strength and um, but in the end what's the proper tension for your process and your web it's really determined by you by running the machine running the web through web through the machine and see, she, seeing um, where where you're getting your best possible product with the least amount of defects um, another way to measure or one way to measure tension in an, in an existing process is with load cells uh, a lot of people do have load cells in their machines and simply uh, a load cell uses strain gauges and you have to imagine when you apply um, force to your web in the machine direction in this direction it will apply a weight the web itself will apply a weight to this to this roller and these strain gauges will measure how much weight is on this roller and normally load cells can give you a readout as to how much tension is across that roller again take the total number the total tension and divide it by the web width and that'll tell you PLI pounds per linear inch Um, you can also, uh, if you have dancer rolls, um, how much uh, dancer, how much loading you have on that dancer will literally tell you how much weight is on this roller, and and your web is is normally fed through this roller somehow, and 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 how much weight is on that roller is is going to be how much tension is on your web. You can calculate how much uh, a dancer is loading your web if you, but you have to know the, the the geometry of a dancer you have to know where this cylinder is on the lever arm you have to know how much air pressure is coming into the cylinder and if, if you know that if you know um, again the geometry and how much air pressure is in this cylinder and, and and how your web is threaded through this dancer you can calculate how much tension that dancer is putting on your web a very good way of measuring tension at the unwind is is what I call the fish scale method if you have a break do not attempt this if there's a motor or uh, if this is a driven unwind or, or something like that but if you have a, a break or an air break magnetic particle break out here um, basically you just have you have to have a way to clamp the edge of your material uh, across across its width and then you can hook a fish scale through there and when you pull on this fish scale it's going to give you a number it's going to give a certain amount of pounds of, of how much it takes to start this roll turning when this roll starts to turn that's literally the, the tension on your web at that point so that's a it's a good effective it's kind of crude but it is an effective method of, of measuring tension off of an unwind so if you if you want to know how much tension you're running um, that's a, a good method to do that for uh, again off of an unwind with a break um, you can calculate tension um, in an unwind or rewind zone by knowing the if you have a break or a clutch if you know the model um, we know that uh, if you know the model of the break or the clutch then you can very easily know what the torque output is at a, at a given uh, air pressure or voltage and <clears throat> if you know roll radius of the roll we know that torque 
in order to keep tension constant, right, we know that torque, the required torque, is the tension times the radius. So uh, algebraically, that means tension equals the torque divided by the radius. So if you know the torque output of the brake, and you know the roll radius, you can just plug those numbers into this equation, and that literally will tell you what the tension is across the web. Again, you have to divide the total tension by the web width in order to know PLI, or pounds per linear inch.